Hey, welcome to the second video of my Uno card game tutorial. And today we're going to be making the deck class. But before we get to the actual coding, I just want to let you all know my thought process and how to work through problems like this. So before today, I didn't really know how many Uno cards were in an Uno deck. So I decided to look it up on Google. So according to Google, there's 108 cards in an Uno deck. There's four suits, so essentially four colors, red, green, yellow, and blue, um, each consisting of one zero card two one cards two twos all the way through nine and then there's two draw two cards skips and reverses so two of each specialty card and then there's also four wild four cards and four wild draw four cards so just like most problems in cs you can probably just look up the answer and you'll find it that's how i solve most of my problems and besides that i mean you can probably just mess around with stuff but that should give us a pretty good idea of where to start at so now that we know um, how many cards are in our UNO deck and how many of each we need, I just copied and pasted it and put it into here so I can um, follow this as a guide. So now we know what we need to make our UNO deck. So to make an UNO deck, you probably need UNO cards. So we're going to start out by making our UNO card array. And we'll just, card, we'll just call our cards array cards. And then... We want to keep track of how many you know cards are in our deck so i'm just going to call that cards in deck now for our uno deck constructor we're just going to fill in these values that we made so how many cards do we need in our uno card array well right here it says we need 108 so i'm just gonna make it 108 so we are making 108 Uno cards in our array. Pretty simple. And then, actually that should be good for now. We'll just leave cards in deck as it is. All right, so now we're gonna make our first method. So you have to think about what an Uno deck does, but I actually wanna make a method that's just gonna essentially initialize the uno deck so what it's gonna do is just fill in all the values because right now our cards we made 108 uno cards but they really don't have any properties like attached to them like th they have values but they're all null um so we're just gonna fill that in so i'm just gonna call this method reset you'll see why later but essentially this is just gonna reset the deck so all we're gonna do is make an uno card color colors equals uno card dot color dot values so what we did was from our original uno card class our enumeration color we're just using these values of red green blue yellow wild so we made an array of our enumeration and we're filling it with all of the values of red, green, blue, yellow, and wild into this array. So that's all that line is doing. And dot values is just already built in. So we didn't have to make that method. So now we're going to set our cards in deck to be equal to zero. All right. And now we're just going to cycle through it. Our array and we're just gonna start filling in these values so we're gonna do colors dot length minus one plus plus and if you don't understand what's going on right now that is okay because I'm gonna fill you all in but we're just gonna go through this so color color equals color So all we're doing here is starting at zero, going through the colors dot length minus one. So that's just gonna start at um, red and it's gonna go blue, green, yellow, but we don't wanna do wild. And we're just gonna fill in the value of, of this color with our current value in our colors array that we made. So right now, this uno card dot color color that's highlighted right here, that's gonna start out as red. 
and we're just going to cycle through all the colors. So next thing we're going to do is just start filling in our array. So cards in deck plus plus equals new uno card color uno card dot value dot get value zero. All right. And now Start going one through ten. All right. Now I just copy these two lines of code, and then I'm going to explain exactly what we're doing. So essentially, this first line right here, we're just making our zero cards. So remember here, we we have each color has one zero card and then it has two one through nine cards so inside of this first for loop we had to make um you know the color the current color so we have that as a red zero so that's the value that this uno card is getting and then we're adding it to our deck of cards up here so all these that are highlighted it's all the same um attribute it's all the same variable so now we're gonna make our Uno cards for um, two through nine, or actually one through nine, and we're gonna make two of them. So here we go, Uno card dot value dot get value. We're just gonna fill this in with J. And actually, we can just copy and paste this line. And there we go, semicolon semicolon bam that looks good so now we have added our um, zero cards and our one through nine cards and remember here we only did one line because we only need one zero and then here we just did this line twice because we need two cards for one through nines so next thing we're going to do is just add our specialty cards so our draw two cards and our um yeah our draw two our reverses and our skips so let us get that started let me just make sure this is all good okay yeah that should be fine all right so now all right so we're gonna do an enhanced for loop. So what this is just gonna do is we're just gonna make a placeholder value and cycle through all our values. And I forgot to make this. So you know card dot value values new you know card dot value so all we're doing is we're making an array of our enumeration values from our uno card class so just like we made an enumeration array of these colors we're just doing the same thing for our values so now we can get all of our values into an array um but specifically the values that we're going to put into this array are the specialty values so we're going to do uno card dot value dot draw two and then the same thing again for our skip and then the same thing for our reverse. All right, and there's a problem and now it's fixed. Now here's a problem. Let's see what the problem is. uno card dot value okay so now we're just gonna actually just we can just copy this line actually save us some typing and now
color and we're just going to put in instead of this long line we can just put in value same thing just put in value and all okay so what it's doing is that starting at the first value in our array values so this values is the same as this highlighted values so the great thing about NetBeans is just going to show you that a lot of IDs are just going to show you what's the same. So that is the same variable and we're just starting at the first value in our values array. So we're starting at draw two and we're just going to make two draw twos of the, the certain color that we're on. So we're starting at um, red. So this first iteration, we're just going to make two draw two reds and then it's going to, once we iterate, so once we, um, plus one then it's going to do that again for red and then for blue for green for yellow all right so all right that should be good now all right let me make sure this is all good all right so now we're going to do the same thing but for our wild card so also make sure that your 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 integers are different. So make sure this is I and this is J because if you have them as the same thing, it's just gonna mess up stuff. Um, and it doesn't have to be I and J, but just make sure that these um, these these uh, variable names are not the same. It's just gonna mess up a lot of stuff for you. So next thing we need to do is make our wild values. So actually, let's just make the array first. So an Uno card uh, values values equals new Uno card dot value and then capital and then we're just gonna fill up this array and same thing. That should be good. Yep. And now just close this up, bracket, semicolon. And now we're gonna run through this the same way. So for Uno card dot value value value. So if you're unfamiliar with the enhanced for loop, highly recommend looking into it, but I'm just gonna explain it one more time. So we're just starting at the first value in our array and for the first iteration, we're just gonna be using wild and then on the next iteration, we're gonna be using wild for. So we're just starting at the beginning of the array as we're cycling through the for loop. So we're actually gonna have a double for loop in here. And we're just going to make cards this exact line again. And then just make this Uno color or Uno card dot color dot wild with the current value. So the color is always going to be wild, but the value is going to change from a wild card, a normal wild card, and then a wild wild four card. And we need to make this um, zero through four because we need to make four wild cards and then four wild draw four cards. So starting at wild, the first wild card is going to be at the zero and then it's just going to be wild card. And then we're going to do that three more times. And then we're going to go back up to the top of the for loop and go to the wild four. And then we're going to make four of the wild four cards. And we're going to start at zero and go through three. And then we're actually going to go through four, but we're going to stop once we get to four. So zero, one, two, three. And that's going to give us four wild cards and four wild four cards. All right. So that was probably the most tedious part of this video so as far as that goes that's probably going to wrap up this video today but um, we still have a lot more to go in the deck class but this is essentially 
the the bulk of creating the actual cards in the deck and once we get a little bit farther i'll be able to show you all you know a printout of the deck and things like that but thanks for watching um don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and thanks